This video will provide a quick overview of one of our CPQ apps on App Exchange product bundle. First step is to configure bundles. Once product bundle application is installed from Apex Chance, Bundle Admin needs to click on Bundles tab. Bundle name is required. It should be in draft status initially, and other details are optional. Price book needs to be selected, and for different price books different bundles need to be created. Next step is to add bundle items by clicking on Add or edit line items under bundle items related list. Standard Salesforce products or approved bundles can be added as child bundles. Search products using filter options. Select needed items using checkbox. Click configure button to configure bundle line items. Optionally, add approved bundles as child bundles by clicking on bundles tab. Search bundles and select for configuration. Items can be ordered by drag and drop using this icon. Item can be deleted using this icon. Required items can be selected to ensure these line items are added always by sales reps. By default all bundle items are active. To make an item inactive, simply change the status to discontinued or EOL. Any custom values on this drop down can be added as well. Line item description can be entered optionally. Line items quantity, discount, and pricing can be configured as required. Discount or pricing can be defined at bundle level as well, which will adjust pricing for line items accordingly. Save and continue allows to add these items to bundle and to continue with configuration. Save and close will add these items and closes the screen. As soon as line items are added, all bundle fields like pricing etc. Are populated with summary of line items. Once configuration is completed, bundles can be approved manually or through standard Salesforce approval process if implemented. After bundle is approved, it will be available for end users to use. Approved bundles can be added by end users to opportunity, quote, order, or work order. Let's consider opportunity as an object. User will use custom buttons provided as part of our app to add or edit bundles and standard products. User can search for product or bundle by toggling these tabs and can search using filter option. Bundles need to be expanded to select bundle items. Field values can be changed for all items using bundle header fields or for bundle items individually. It is same process for child bundles, if present. User will click on, add to cart, to add selected bundles, and products, to cart, and can continue adding more bundles, or products. Please note, only expanded bundles with selected items are added to the cart. Once done with configuration, user will click on items box, to see the items added to cart. Cart shows the summary on top. Individual products are shown on top of the cart, followed by bundles. User gets another opportunity to review and edit the configuration in the cart before adding to opportunity. Back allows reps to add more items to the cart. Save adds these products and bundles as opportunity product. Once bundles and products are added to opportunity, these items become standard opportunity line items with few additional custom fields showing bundle information. For individual products, these fields are blank. Line item description is also copied. Optionally, quantity-based volume pricing or attribute-based pricing can be configured for individual products. Bulk pricing applies the pricing to total quantity of the product. Tiered pricing applies pricing by dividing quantity into multiple tiers or slabs. Pricing can also be driven based on custom product attributes, like capacity, color, size, or version, using attribute pricing feature. We have provided flexibility to control fields. Fields, which are not applicable to certain products, can also be hidden, using field dependencies feature.
Any standard or custom fields can be added to filters, result sets, and cards. Bundles can be cloned using Clone Bundles button to quickly create new bundles. Bundle item pricing can be updated to reflect latest product pricing and cost using Refresh button on Bundle. You can mass refresh bundles as well. Optionally, product schedules can also be created. We have made it faster and convenient for sales reps to create schedules for multiple products in one go. Once product schedules are enabled and configured, schedules can be created using schedule button on the card. It shows the schedule details for individual product. It creates the schedule as per the configuration on opportunity product. Using our other app exchange app PDF generator, bundle summary can be shown on PDFs. If PDFs are generated by sales reps on opportunity, quote, order, or work order, you have an option to hide individual item details and show bundle summary instead. You can configure how you want to display bundles to your customers. Application can be further customized as per your business requirement. Following are some key customization options available. Pricing and quantity fields can be restricted to certain profiles or users. Sales price change on discount can be controlled. Search results grouping can be customized. Bundles can be auto-expanded and items can be selected by default. To summarize, here are the key features of product bundle application. Bundle standard Salesforce products. Supports bundle hierarchy by nesting bundles. Supports bulk and tiered pricing or discounts configuration. Supports attribute-based pricing configuration. Clone bundles to quickly create new bundles. Supports segmentation to restrict bundles to specific segment. Flexibility to add or remove custom fields across entire application. Manage product schedules for multiple products in one go. Bundle view on PDF using our PDF generator app exchange app. Lightning enabled and 100% Salesforce native app. Standard Salesforce security, automation, data migration, and integration supported. We offer free 15 days full feature trial. Visit our website for detailed documentation, pricing, or contact our support for any queries.